You decide 2012, the campaign for president is shaping up to be, uh, well, pretty interesting so far. A few days ago, the Obama campaign got a lot of attention with this website. As you can see, it's called attackwatch.com, and it encourages citizens to report what they feel are unfair attacks on the president. And now this, a county commissioner here in Florida says all Republicans should be arrested for not cooperating with the president. Fox 35's Jennifer Bistrom live in the uh, newsroom with more on this. Jen, what's this all about? Hey there, Sunny. Now, those comments were made by Palm Beach Commissioner Bert Aronson. Now, some people at the Democratic dinner say it was just to fire up the crowd. But is it something an elected official should be saying out loud? You decide. Unforgettable words at a Democratic dinner last night. Words from County Commissioner Bert Aronson as he addressed his fellow partisans using this analogy. We talked with reporter George Bennett via Skype from the Palm Beach Post newspaper. He was there covering the event. I don't think Commissioner Aronson necessarily was seriously proposing that, but I think it clearly showed, you know, a, kind of a frustration that a lot of Democrats are feeling right now. He says some in the audience did applaud, but political consultant Sarah Rumpf says the commissioner was completely out of line and owes all Republicans an apology. Well, he's just shooting off his mouth. He's full of it. He has no idea what he's talking about. He's just trying to get people stirred up. It's ridiculous. She says, of course, the Republicans want to elect a Republican president in 2012, but it's no different than what Democrats said and wanted when Bush was in office. I find it pretty ridiculous for an elected official to announce that members of the opposing party should be thrown in jail um, and he can't even specify what the allegedly seditious or treasonous comments are. Now, we did reach out to Commissioner Aronson tonight. Still no word from him yet. In the newsroom, Jennifer Bisram, Fox 35 News.